jari bowl. Who, hey, me? No, not you. So this is a cause for celebration. See who does all the hard work around here. Welcome to Cruising Alba. We invite you to join us on our adventure, living off grid and traveling the UK canal network. I'm Miles. And I'm Marina. I'm going to the post office to pick up some parcels for us. On the way back, I found a shortcut behind this 800-year-old church that led me directly to the boat over the railway crossing. That was the railway crossing. Connector only. This is the plus, but we're actually not plugging the plus in. Yeah, okay. Well done for sorting it. Yay, showers! We can have a shower again! How happy are you? Very happy. Very happy. I promised myself once this gets fixed, I'm having a bath. I've never ever had a bath on board, neither did Miles. So this is a cause for celebration. Sometimes people walking by on the towpath ask us if we live on board, which often is followed by, do you have a shower? Well, Alba actually has a bath. It's not a full size bath, but it's pretty decent size. However, Miles and I never truly appreciated it before to the point that we wanted to swap it for a standing shower. And we made that decision while living in London and having access to gyms and friends' houses with showers. 18 months later and we're spending the second winter aboard away from luxuries of land. This is when a hot bath becomes a real treat and we're so glad we kept it. Just had my first bath in Alba. It's been a year and a half and I've never had one and it was incredible. First of all, I have noticed yet again that we don't have taps in the bathroom so I had to fill up the bath with a shower and then when I was filling up I was wondering how much gas we're using because we don't have a calorifier. It was great, really enjoyed it, feel really really warm. We're cruising today and it's really rainy and windy so it might be a bit of a miserable weather but I'm ready for it now. We got a big day of cruising today, so I'm making a stew now. Stew now, so we don't have to cook en route, and we'll have a nice, hearty meal. See who does all the hard work around here. All right, everyone. Who done the fire? Me. 
No, you haven't. You did. No. Went. <laughs> Went. So we've got to do this page, and then we get to Bruce Tunnel. One, two, 11, 12, 12. Fine. Doable. This year, we feel like we missed out on many things. Our friends had babies that we haven't met yet. Some found love and some became dog parents. Today is one of those days when happiness comes from meeting a puppy for the first time. This is Alex and Inka. Inka is a whippet who is still learning about the world and today is her very first time being on a boat. Back in the old days, before narrowboats had engines, the boats were pulled out of the lock by their lines. Miles is giving it a go for some reason. Maybe he's getting cold? I'm just walking ahead to set up the next lock. It's really close. Hopefully we can save some time. The downside of working Monday to Friday is that we only have two days a week to cruise. So if the weather is terrible, we haven't really got a choice. If you missed our previous episode where we touched on our winter plans, we keep going west and need to go past Wooten Rivers to be on the right side of the winter closures so we can travel to Bath this winter. How are you doing, Inka? How did you find that? Is it okay? Oh, my cold hands. <laughs> Three, four. There was water there. I've not seen it. it. I was looking out for it. See that thing that like came in from the side had bins and stuff. That's just in the lock. Yeah, it's just down there here. It must be here somewhere. Then. Yeah. We are looking for a water point that is supposed to be somewhere nearby. Yeah, we need to switch sides. The water's on the other side. Okay. I've still got wet clothes, so I'll go out and do it. Yeah, go for it. Perfect. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me This kind of a holder, you need to lift it up Hold with your hand and keep it there And now you bring it all the way down Until you saved me, until you set me free My eyes were closed, now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say that you can take me high Lock after lock, we're getting closer to our destination Feels like I can fly You can take me high We were so grateful to spend some precious time with a friend. 
And perhaps we could imagine what the life could look like with the dog on board, especially as well behaved as Inca. The Bruce Tunnel is close to the summit of the Kana and Avon Canal. It was built over 200 years ago. There is no towpath through the tunnel, so when canal boats were still pulled by horses, the boatmen had to haul their boats through the tunnel by hand, pulling on chains that used to run along the inside walls. Just seen another rainbow. I think the next lock is going to be the first lock for since ages going down. We reached the summit of Kene, and the plan is to find uh, there should be another water point to fill up the tank to the top because we rushed earlier on, and yeah, and then find a mooring. The last lock of the day. So glad the weather improved throughout the day. It's been really nice to cruise in the sunshine. And Inca. Hello. She fell in, didn't she? She did. What happened? She made an escape. I was on the side of the boat, she wanted to jump to me, so she jumped into the canal because She's not got very good balance at the moment, so uh, that was a little scare, but she's all good now, nice and warm. You're so young, you're only 15 weeks, you don't really know what jumping in the river is like. I call it baptism by fire. That's it, yeah, that's it. She's a boat dog now. <laughs> Miles needs another haircut, so I'm gonna cut his hair before we set off. Coming out of this lock, we discovered a pleasant surprise. We got recycling! We got recycling! Inca found her favorite place on the stern. The steel plate she's sitting on is situated right above the engine, so it's tasty and warm. We finally crossed the line of winter closures. We're aiming to stop at Pusey, which is only an hour away at a leisurely pace. 
the scenery has changed yet again, and we're now seeing magnificent hills in the distance. I grew up in the mountains. So any slight resemblance of hills instantly takes me back to my childhood, and I feel at home. Who, me? No, not you. Hey, girl, what's this? Girl, do you want some attention? Oh, yeah, Oh, my goodness. This is one of the prettiest spots I've ever been at. It's incredible. The view just goes out for miles and miles. Got a nice house over there. Got a big old garden. Oh, it'd look great if it was snowing. And just like that, we were moored up in a place where we are going to spend another lockdown. Next week we are staying put and tackling a long list of boat jobs that we finally have time to work on. Thank you all so much for watching. Give this episode a like if you enjoyed it, comment and subscribe to follow along our journey. Huge thank you to our incredible patrons who support our efforts and make these videos possible for you every week. Consider joining us on Patreon to get bonus content, early access to these videos and many other packs. See you in the next one!